it's Kay from the Literary Apothecary and today we are going to be talking about Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone by Diana Gabaldon. This is book nine in the Outlander series and y'all this was so so freaking good. So um, this will be a spoiler free review for book nine but there will be spoilers for the other books in the series because you can't talk about book nine in a series without spoiling what happens in all the other books before it. So just keep that in mind if you haven't gotten here yet and you don't want to be spoiled about anything that happens in the previous books. Thank you for watching and come back when you've read Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. Um, if you have read this book, book nine, and you want spoilers, you want all my thoughts on this book, I will be having a reading vlog coming out very soon where you can follow me along reading book nine and see all of my reactions as they happen. So in Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone by Diana Gabaldon, this is in, takes place in 1779. We're still in America. We're in North Carolina. For the most part, the American Revolution is going hard and going strong in this book. And even though Jamie and Claire are in the back country in North Carolina, we still feel the war going on here in North Carolina. We have Brianna and Roger and their kids are back in the past now and they're worried that someone from the future will follow them. We've got William Ransom who as you might remember is Willie, also known as Willie or Lord Ellesmere. Um, he is actually Jamie's son and he is um, still trying to come to terms with the fact that Jamie is his true father and not Lord John Gray. So up until the middle to end of book eight, William believed that Lord John Gray was his father. He didn't know that he wasn't his real father and now he's trying to come to terms with that. He's 20 something and he's trying to deal with that fact and that's really, really hard for him to deal with because not only was he lied to his whole life and believed that Lord John Gray was his real father, but Jamie is a Jacobite, he's a Scottish outlaw, and now he's fighting on, essentially on the side of the Americans, the revolution, whereas William was a British officer before he resigned his um, commission. So he's got a lot to deal with here, and we follow, we kind of follow him along in parts of this book, and I really enjoy getting close up with William because we didn't get a lot of that in the previous books. And we also get my favorite character, Lord John Gray. He's got a whole lot to deal with in this book. He's got problems coming at him from everywhere. So he's dealing with a lot in this book. And we learn a lot more about Lord John Gray in this book. And ah, I just loved seeing that. And then last but not least, Ian, young Ian and Rachel and Jenny are off on their own adventure. Um, they leave Fraser's Ridge and they go on their own adventure and that's all I can say without giving way too many spoilers so I hope that wasn't too much spoilery I tried to keep it to just facts that were in the description of the book facts that don't necessarily give away spoilers but tell you a little bit of what you'll be coming to in this book we get all of these different points of views and it's just fantastic because if you've seen my videos before about the Outlander series you know that Claire is not my favorite character at all. And her point of view really, really annoys me at times. So I loved seeing this other side, these other points of views. As you can tell, I gave this five out of five stars. This has become my favorite book in the entire series. It beat out Dragonfly and Amber, which is book two, for a good seven books. That was my favorite book. This has now become my favorite book and Dragonfly and Amber has become my second favorite book. It just felt like it wove together all these different points of views into a seamless story. The story moved along really well. The characters were developed as they needed to be. We got new characters. We got characters going out. It was just so well done. You had all of the emotions. It made me laugh. It definitely made me cry. It made me cry a ton. We had those sweet moments with Jamie and Claire. We had hard moments. We just had all of, it just was 
so, so well done. Um, there wasn't a moment that I was reading it where I was thinking, I don't like this. I, I don't like this part. This is going to drop it down to a four star. I loved everything that happened in this book. So five out of five, five out of five stars for Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone by Diana Gabaldon, book nine in the Outlander series. Y'all, we have just one more book in this series to go. And as you know, it's going to take several years to get there, but just one more book. I can't believe it. I am, ah. So, if you, like I said, if you've read Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone and you want my spoiler thoughts, check out the vlog when it comes out, hopefully in the next couple days. I'll be able to put that together and get that out. Um, I hope this wasn't too spoilery for you. I tried to keep it spoiler free, but you know how excited I get about these books. So, if you've read this book, let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite part? Um, I think my favorite part is just in general being able to see history come to play with all of our favorite fictional characters. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new video coming out. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There's no pressure to join both either, but we have a ton of fun at both and it's only $1 a month to join my Patreon. So if you wanted to support me financially, go join the Patreon. Um, I have my different levels set up as different clans, so it's really fun. We've got Clan Sassanac and Clan Mackenzie and then the topmost Clan Frasier for $5 a month and it's super, super fun. I love my patrons. They're the best. Um, keep reading and... I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.